How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and welcome to my PSA return. My first PSA return, in fact. Um, I did send these in, well actually exactly four or five months ago. Sent them in um, on, the, on June 12th. So almost exactly five months until I got them back. Um, I did use a middleman service for, for this return. I didn't actually send these in myself, as I've alluded to uh, a bunch of times. Let's see, I know I do have to cut it open down here as well. Um, I didn't, I didn't send them in myself, as I've alluded to in some of my other videos. Um, it, it just, it's so much more of a hassle for me to send stuff to the U.S., especially high value stuff. So let's see which way they are. Okay, here of course is the shop that I used. Um, he is very reputable in the German community, and I guess. Maybe a bit international as well, at least for PSA returns. So there you go, that's the shop I used. And here are the cards, I suppose. Okay, here are the cards. So let me just unwrap these. And see which way they are. Because I don't want to get spoiled. Okay, so that's that's the way, right? I didn't see any grades, luckily. Didn't see any grades. Okay. Oh, I completely forgot to mention this. I'm actually using a new camera, as you might be able to tell. Everything looks very crisp, very clean compared to, to usual. Um, still figuring some things out, so if, if it does look a bit off, I do apologize. Um, anyways, let's flip this first card over. Actually, I guess I can just use this to cover up the grate. So here we go. This is the Sabo. Um, I have a high suspicion that this is going to be a 9. I actually ordered this like twice. First time around, it was um, very off-centered, and then I ended up selling it. And then I ordered another copy of eBay, and it came off-centered again. And I just went with it, so I'm guessing this would be a 9. No, that's a 10, really? Wait, was it the Sobble that was off-centered? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, we've got our first 10. That is very good. Focus, thank you very much. Okay, we've got our first 10. Nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, the second one. Um, this should be the score bunny, maybe? Yeah, it is the score bunny. Okay. Well, these are all... Oh, by the way, these are all futsal promos, as, as is apparent by the title and the thumbnail, probably. Very, very cool cards, in my opinion. Really happy to have them. In a PSA 10 as well. Dude, I, I have this strange feeling that the only card that is not going to be a PSA 10 is, is going to be the... Um, the Eevee. Well, let's move it on to the, um, what is this, the Grookey? No, that's the Eevee, okay. Um, you know what, I'm actually gonna keep this for last, because I have a strange feeling that this is gonna be a 9. Let's do this one, is this the Grookey? That's the Grookey. Okay, here we go, that's, that's the Grookey. So let's see, that's a 10 as well, very, very nice. At least I have the starter trio in a 10. So I'm I'm happy about that. I can't tell if the focus is is good or not. The screen is a bit too too small, but I'm I'm hoping it is. Um, let's put this down here, and let's see what what this is. This should be the Pikachu. I have a well. I just spoiled it by by lifting it. I guess I didn't spoil it for you. Um, let's just lift it off. Here we go. It's a ten. Very very good. Um, I had a good feeling about this card. Like, this one was really good, really, really well-centered and everything. Um, I actually got this from game.co.uk back when they were um, doing that that whole, whatchamacallit, the, the re-release of this card. It was really, really expensive for a time. And then game had, like, a, um, a special, whatchamacallit, special promotion where you basically got this card and, like, a bunch of packages. In fact, I actually got two copies. I still have one sealed. Um, I might give away one of those sealed copies in, in the future. Okay, let's oh let's see, let's see. So I do have to say something about the about the EV before we continue. Man, if this was a PSA ten, that would be absolutely insane. It actually, oh no, they they actually are the wrong way. The EV was supposed to be here. Um, just look at the third number. It's this is one point twelve and this is one point eleven. The Pikachu. So it's not sequential. The the Eevee goes in between here. Well, okay. Let's see what this is. I'm hoping this is a PSA 10. I did crack it out of a PSA 9. It is still a PSA 9. Okay. Um, that's no big deal. Because I can... Since, since the um, the sequential numbers are kind of messed up in a way. Um, I can still... I'm, I'm probably going to grab myself a... Um, 
a PSA 10 off eBay if I can for a good price. And then I have the complete set. Well, at least I have four of them in my PSA 10, so that's better than, than I expected, honestly. Um, this in the PSA 9 I kind of expected as a, as I said, I did crack this out of the case. It was a PSA 9 before, thought I'd try my luck. Um, didn't work out, but it is what it is. So there you go, here are the grades for my futsal promos. I'm still very happy with those, not gonna lie. I'm still very happy, especially happy with the with the Pikachu. I mean, the Pikachu I kind of figured that would be PSA 10. Incredibly happy with the Sobble, actually, that that got a PSA 10. I would thought for sure this was going to be a PSA 9. Really, really cool. Okay. Okay, so here we are with the grades. Pretty happy about them. But there is uh, a few more things that I want to talk about in this video. Mainly the price discussion of this, because I had someone go up to me and like in, in some of my YouTube comments that PSA is so much cheaper. Um, while also being the better grading company, debatable, um, the better grading company, that's debatable, it's all subjective. I do prefer the the labels of CGC, but you know, each to their own, um, the price discussion. So let's just try something fun right here, just try to write in the comments how much you think I paid for, for these five cards, how much you think I paid for grading these five cards. Uh, mind you, I did use the the middleman service, of course. And he is located in Germany, so shipping isn't very expensive. It's like six euros each way, so um, be that as it may. Um, I'm going to tell you, I paid 145 euros, which is very, very pricey. Now, mind you, that is not to knock the, the creator. This is this is not, not like a, a diss against Poké G, dude. Um, he has to charge that much because I know for a fact that the amount of paperwork that goes into grading these cards, or mainly getting them back to Germany and not having to pay value at a tax. There is some paperwork that you can fill out, but it's incredibly complicated. So um, this is by all means not a diss against him. I know the work that goes into it. He has to charge that much. Um, just as a comparison, though, um, with CGC, if you if you grade five cards for CGC Germany, um, that's like about 90 euros. You do have to calculate like 30 euros for the back shipping though, and 6 euros, you know, for me, 6 euros to ship them to the Munich office within Germany. So we're like 125 in total, which, to be honest, isn't that much less than PSA. Basically, you get to grade like 6 cards instead of 5, you get like one more. Um, it does get really pricey when you calculate like 25 cards. 25 cards is like beyond, beyond good and evil. If you... If you try to grade like 25 cards with CGC, you're like, um, what should we call it? 357 euros and then like 40 euros for the back shipping plus 6 euros back and forth. So like, I should say 400 euros all in in total. And whereas with PSA, if you use the middleman service, I'd be at like 700 euros plus 12 euros or 6 euros shipping. And what also really, really bothers me, but that's... That's an issue with PSA itself. Once again, he did a great job. Like, all my cards arrived safely. All my cards are here now. And the communication or, like, the, the status updates were very, very frequent. Okay, so the updates from Poké Geo, dude, for the grading, they were actually very, very frequent. You didn't have to wait longer than two weeks at most. And it was all very easy to see, very easy to track. And that was really good. Um, what I don't like about PSA, as I've said, that is a, that's a problem with PSA themselves, is the fact that the value they specify for these grading tiers. Um, I used the grading tier, which had a max value of 200 per card. Um, you might think, you might think it's the same as with PSA, that it's, uh, 200 euros is how much the card should be worth when you're sending it in. Like, for example, um, let's just say I were to send this card in. I don't actually know how much this card is nowadays. Um, let's just say it's 500 for the sake of easy comparison. Um, so this card is raw 500. The thing is, the value they specify on each, on each tier, it's not how much the card is worth raw. It's how much the card will be worth when you would be selling it as the grade you think it might be getting. And that's the most fucked up part about PSA. That's the part I hate most about PSA. They, they basically force you to pay more if you're expecting to hit a high grade, which is not okay. That is not okay. Just imagine I were to send this card in. It's a bit of a rant here, so 
just bear with me, bear with me. If I were to send this card in, I would absolutely have to choose the, the regular tier, which is up to a declared value of $1,499. That's why I said like 1,500 euros right about there. Um, if this was a PSA 10. Okay, yeah, so for, for Poker Geodude, um, that would cost me 115 euros, which I think that is more than fair, because mind you, $75 just on the PSA website, that doesn't include international shipping. International shipping both ways, I would have to pay twice. So let's just calculate 30 euros forth, 30 euros to send it to the US, 30 euros back. Upon receiving them back in Germany, also calculate value at a tax on that, which is 19% by the way, 19% on top of the, the value they declare on the package, which would most likely be the insurance, um, which would be like 1,500 euros. Um, it gets very expensive very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. And that is, that is what I hate most about PSA. That is what I hate most about PSA. It's so ridiculous that they they expect you to know exactly what grade it will get, as if it doesn't depend on the person sitting in front of the card and looking at it. Like, for frick's sake, this one right here. This one should have been a 9, probably. Well, actually, I'm, I'm not an expert. I fully expected a 9. So if this was a high-value card, and I expected a 9, and shows a tier that is that is for that card, for the PSA 9 value, I'd be good. Then suddenly gets a PSA 10, I would be upcharged, and I have to pay more. I have to pay the cost to upgrade the tier, because it's suddenly a 10, because it's suddenly worth more. That is, that is absolutely ridiculous about PSA. Little bit of a rant here, I do apologize. I'll probably have a timestamp somewhere to skip on my rambling. Um, I just felt like I had to say that. Um, nonetheless, though, nonetheless, I am very happy about these grades, of course. Um, especially happy with the Pikachu. Um, the Eevee, as I said, I'm probably gonna buy a, a PSN, PSA 10 copy off eBay if I get a good price. Um, seeing as they aren't sequential anyways, they are in the wrong order. This is the order they should have been graded in. This is pretty sure this is how I packed them, and I, I guess they switched them around or something. Um, it's all good, though, it's all good. Um... No, no fault on, on their side, though. That's that's fine. Um, but anyways, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then please give it a like. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a dislike. Tell me in comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. I would also love to have some feedback on the video quality. Do you like the new camera? Do you not like the new camera? And so on and so forth. Um, other than that, here's a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Here's the subscribe button. Click this one first. Click this one. Check out any other videos down in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video as well. Take care. Peace, peace.